I'm Rashida Ehrenwala. I'm a practicing company secretary. I have founded a firm called RNA Associates, uh, which is a company secretary firm which provides uh, all you entrepreneurs, if you want to set up companies, I'm there to help you set up your companies, take it forward. And that's, so that's uh, the job that we do. Uh, everything related to company law, company law matters, mergers of occupations, IPOs, listings on the Indian Stock Exchange, overseas stock exchange. This is what we do. And um, so I think I'm the only odd one here, but all into, uh, found a member of competition who now with us. And uh, we have four manufacturing units um, by the name of Thermopads, Thermo Cables, Thermo Systems, and Thermo Partners. In Thermopads, we manufacture some exclusive uh, flexible heating products. 97% of the US general. I'm uh, Radhika Madela. I'm, uh, I'm a journalist by profession who switched over to homemade chocolates. I worked with Indian Express for almost six years. Quit my job because of various reasons. You know, I had a daughter who was going to school and the time it wouldn't suit. So I just quit my job. Was sitting idle, chanced upon a one-day course in homemade chocolates in Delhi, did it and got hooked onto it. Okay, so I've been into homemade chocolates for almost 10 years now. And apart from manufacturing, I've uh, trained over 2,000 uh, food enthusiasts in chocolate making, uh, baking, deserts and mocktails. So a lot of them who are right now, you know, into homemade chocolates would have been my students sometime or the other. I'm treasurer of Kobe. Uh, I have housekeeping business, housekeeping consultancy services uh, since 15 years. And recently I started one more service, uh, that is mechanized water tank cleaning, underground and over The system certifications. Um, and food park is one of the uh, projects that I did in Pune for Chodia Group of Industries. I had been previously into a political scenario and fighting for some political reforms, but I, apparently I also have my own commercial project and trading of uh, granite finished tiles, presently trading to exporting to Singapore. So planning to more expand different different countries also and look out for new markets presently. Thank you. And co founder of Quantum Leasing, which derives strategic initiatives to accelerate women's enterprise development at the global level. She is a past president of the National Association of Women Business Owners in USA. She was one of the three primary architects of the Women Business Ownership Act, which itself is a landmark, which was passed by the US legislature and signed by President Reagan in 9 to organize three global best practice conferences in 97 to 2000 in Paris and 2004 in Istanbul. They funding for women owned SMEs around the world. In the mid late 2000, quantum in Delhi, she was awarded the Priyadarshini Award by the Federation of Indian Women Entrepreneurs. She has many other awards, including Lifetime Achievement Awards from organizations in the U.S., Canada, and China. Friends, I'm very honored to talk about this great lady today. We also have with the dice, uh, Ms. Catherine the dice. Nani trained as an economist at Kenyon College and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Was with a clear objective to empower women entrepreneurs. Today we are 500 plus members from micro, small, medium to large scale industries in diversified fields like IT, electronics, handicrafts, textile, agri products, food industry, etc. I think all our friends just now you know, introduced themselves and we know that you know, most of us are here in the diversified fields that you have introduced uh, themselves. Kobe's uh, main objectives are council and handholding members starting their, for starting their own enterprises, capacity building through training in all banks here, and networking with national and international business associations. Some of our achievements are, government has recognized our association 
and inducted Kobe on the board of MSC. Most of its kind in Asia. Signed an interview with the uh, NS Mosque Industries Corporation. Launched a web portal to promote and market our mission here. That is JTH Sequa, which is a German uh, organization, government organization, has been very in the North Indian partners. At their initiative, we are having four MOUs being aimed well. That is all in programs in colleges and business schools like uh, ISP. Kobe's engineering and industrial estate in Kalakkal village as part of the automotive park has had the first unit inaugurated by Dr. Gita Reddy, Minister of Heavy Industries and this was initiative taken by the government to allot 10% of the land to women in all industrial parks in AP. And we are waiting for the funds to develop a common facility center for MS, from MSME for which we have in principle sanction. The common facilities center will enable not only women who would like to use it as an incubation center, testing and design centers, but also have facilities that are needed like crash, bank, post office, etc. The innovative feature of our annual trade carnival has been to increase the share of corporate, government and institutional procurement secured by women vendors. This has been an initiative led by the International Trade Center, the Joint Agency of United Nations and the trade, uh, World Trade Organization with the support of uh, We Connect International, a non-profit trade support organization. And uh, we have participated in a lot of uh, international exhibitions. Most of our members here have joined this uh, delegation that is a study about this uh, gift exhibition in Spain and we have some of the members participated in Slovenia. International a lot of women SMEs with the same night who are also connecting with most of the fortune companies to procure their products from women. With you, as, as Sathya said, we have uh, signed an MOU with Bowie last year and we really look forward to doing some great things together. So, um, Having said that, I will uh, tell you a little bit about WeConnect. Uh, it's still very new. We are a startup in India, just six months old. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to take you through a little bit about WeConnect and uh, what we can do together. Uh, so, no, this is. So about WeConnect International, Virginia has already uh, given you the whole context of it. And to put it very briefly, our mission is to empower women business owners to succeed in markets, and particularly in global markets, which they typically do not. Of uh, corporate members that Virginia showed earlier, and we've had quite a few more added to it since. Uh, that's what uh, our women businesses can look forward to getting a piece of. Um, our, we are guided of uh, Internet International, that's Elizabeth Vasquez. Uh, why women? Because in my career over many, many years, women and business to be correlated in a major way. Women are uh, seen as a do try to do anything I can to try and support women's entrepreneurship and women's empowerment brought more broadly. I think that's been a value of the U.S. government for many years and currently under the leadership of Secretary Clinton at the State Department and President Obama it has an even higher importance at a higher scale of priority but it's something we've cared about for a long time. We cared about it for a lot of reasons. We know, as was pointed out, that when women's income expands, their families uh, benefit. And, and the statistic uh, was up there that 90% of, of their income goes towards their families. Uh, and that helps maternal and child health that we care about. We know it helps human rights. It helps fight trafficking. It helps it, empowering women economically, empowers them socially as well. And, uh, and I think um, that's very important to all of us. But we also know that women are a tremendous resource. And if we want growth and development, neglecting that resource is just plain foolish and counterproductive. And I think you, uh, those present in the room today, are tremendous evidence of that. Um, as Virginia was mentioning, things have changed a lot in the US in the last few 
decades. And they're still changing, there's still, still needs, but it's, there are obstacles to women that maybe men don't face, and anything that can be done to help reduce those obstacles will help all of us with greater growth and development. Um, I do know, as a, just as a manager, as a government employee, that, uh, that two of the kind of lacks that women also have, two of the things that women in a whole wide range of areas maybe could do with more of are mentoring and networking. And so I think that the role of COE in promoting networking and mentoring and of We Connect is tremendous. And I'm really excited to hear about this greater access to markets and access to buyers. Take advantage of that CSR drive of the corporate members. Give them the opportunity to get, get access to wonderful products from women-owned businesses and give women the opportunity to grow more rapidly. So I'm very pleased to be here today to join you. I do not think that, uh, that you want to listen to me. I'm looking forward to listening to you, to hearing, uh, hearing what your experiences are, what your needs are, and, uh, and thinking about ways maybe that I can recommend to my government that we make things easier for you in the future. Thank you.